Hey everyone, this is Cups bringing you another Mod Truck Hunter World Iceborne video, and today we're going to continue to talk about the Insect Glaive. Recently talked about the Kiara Insect Glaives in my previous video that I'll put up in the cards now, but uh, I wanted to talk about a little known technique. This was kind of been around since the beginning of Iceborne, but not a lot of people have known about it, and especially with the new Kiara Insect Glaive Elemental Boost and stuff like that, there's some cool techniques that you can use and kind of open up your, you know, open up your thinking a little bit when it comes to the type of insects to use. So right now the most popular kinsect that a lot of people are using is the Folia Cat 3 4s and this is a fantastic bug that you should be using in a lot of situations. It is the highest speed, uh, pretty decent power type of bug. It's really good at gathering extracts and staying on the monster. But there's also some merit using something like this, the Versus Stag uh, 3 4s and this one has really high power, really low speed and uh, decent heal but that's neither here nor there and this is also another one i use for this technique that i'm about to show you the glean the glean beetle 3 velox also really high power but uh, i'll go ahead and show you the technique first it's i guess we'll call it some sort of bug drill or bug pierce Okay, so after you've gathered your extracts, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and buff your bug using a monster pod, something that drops specifically from the monster, like a piercing pod or something like that. L2 triangle and circle. Get that bug buff, and then you dive the monster. And look at that beautiful pierce there. This is even a smaller thing. Nine hits for 1265. It's not too bad. So how this works exactly is that you want to make sure that you have the bug on you. And then go ahead and start your dive animation and the bug will detach from you whenever you start your dive and then your last hit on the dive animation that swing will go ahead and mark the target and then the bug will beeline it to that point and try and, and drill through the monster it doesn't really care what's in the way so the reason you want to use slower bugs on this is because they also hit for very hard and they're slower which increases the tick rate so if you're using the folia cath with a really high speed you're only going to get a couple hits out of it two or three hits but the slower the bug the more time it has to kind of pierce and drill through the monster so you're going to get more hits that hit for harder amounts so this is really nice because, like I said before, the element boost on this one, and this is uh, on this insect glaive, and this is an elemental bug. So if you're doing this against something that's weak to that element and is quite big, so let's say a Diablos, something that's very weak to ice, or a Kulf Terrot, something that's weak to ice or thunder, the more hits that drill through the monster, it also applies more status. So I also like to use this one for something that has like some blunt damage, because the KO can potentially get some KOs and also exhaust the monster if you're drilling through the body. And the one I really like to use this on is the Kiar Para insect glaive that I recommended in my last video. You can also use it on this bug here, the Lady Tower 3 4s. Um, decent power, lower speed, but it's also got paralysis dust effect. So if you're using para with para, it's going to drill through the monster and you're going to get uh, you know some good exhaust and some good para buildup as well. But it's a very, very cool technique and I recommend it highly. It's a lot of fun as well. It's, uh, I don't know how effective it's really going to be in some sort of speedrun type environment, but in multiplayer, it's a lot of fun, very effective and uh, it can be pretty dangerous but in the right situations as well and dive heavy matchups against monsters with you know big weak zones like Nergigante wings and body and Diablo swings as I had mentioned before ask any questions that you have in the uh, in the comments below and I don't know, have a good old time I appreciate you see you next time